Today I fucked up by queefing and peeing in my car in front of my boyfriend. First, the usual disclaimers, I am on mobile and this did not actually happen today, it happened about 5 months ago. Okay, time to confess. This is the darkest, most mortifying moment of my life. It is also fucking hilarious and while I cannot tell a living soul in real life, I sure as hell can make an anonymous account on the internet and share with a bunch of strangers. Please enjoy. My boyfriend of 4 years and I decided to go to Disneyland because a family friend of mine gave us tickets she didn't want, which was incredibly sweet. Anyways, after a long day of waiting for hours in lines and paying way too much money for mediocre food, we were ready to go home. We decided to take my car, Mini Cooper Sport, because it's nicer than his and would make the two hour drive back feel a bit comfier. I cannot tell you now how grateful I am that we chose that car instead of his. About an hour into the drive, we're in the heart of Los Angeles and it just hits me that I have to pee. I told my boyfriend and he said he could take the next exit to find a gas station for me to stop at. Ow. I have an irrational fear of the city. Being a 20 year old 5 apostrophe 1 female, I feel like I'm an easy target, even though my boyfriend was with me. Either way, the area felt super sketchy so I was like no, I'm just going to hold it. He asked if I was sure and I said yes, it's night and I have no idea where we even are. 5 minutes pass and somehow, my need to pee increased tenfold. I can't explain the logic here, but I kept looking over at my smart water bottle like I could probably pee in that, and the recurring thought somehow pushed my bladder to its breaking point. I asked my boyfriend if he thinks I'd be able to pee in that water bottle and he says yeah probably it's big enough, but you know I could pull over if you really want. But I kept refusing. Now another 5 minutes pass and I'm breaking a sweat. I'm thinking to myself I could get away with peeing in this bottle, we're in pretty slow traffic and I would be steady. On the other hand, I could suck it up, pull over at a gas station and just use a toilet like any person probably would. My indecisiveness got the best of me. Finally I turned to my boyfriend and told him to just exit, I'll go to a bathroom. So he starts blinking to exit the freeway and I'm there clenching my thighs for dear life. As soon as we exit, I see a McDonald's and I point to it but alas, I was too late and he missed the turn. Fine whatever, we can find another place. Then, out of fucking nowhere, we hit traffic and we are stuck. Car isn't moving. I turn to my boyfriend, desperation and anguish in my eyes and he knows what's about to happen. Now, even though we've been together for four years, I've never never peed in front of him or anything like that. It just hasn't happened. So when I turned to him, the look of complete despair upon my face, he knew what was about to happen. He assured me that it's fine, I can use the bottle and it'll be okay, he will keep the car steady. I said okay, put my hoodie over my lap to cover up what was going on, pulled down my pants and lined up the bottle. This is where shit just hits rock bottom. I didn't take into account that I wasn't letting any air escape from the bottle from how hard I was pushing it against me. So what happens? As I start to pee, a queef comes out. I swear, this must have happened over the course of a minute but it felt like a lifetime. We look at each other, and more queefs come out as I pee. I can't control it, it's just a fucking fart soundtrack coming from my hoo-ha, as I am pissing in a bottle in my car. We start dying of laughter because it's just so fucking funny until I pull the bottle back a millimeter to let some air escape. Big mistake. He starts leaking onto the seat. I scream. He looks at me all panicked and I start flipping shit because I am pissing on my leather seats in front of him. He's doing his best to stay calm, being supportive and comforting saying we're almost to the gas station as I am queefing, pissing on my seat, screaming, crying, and laughing all at once. Then the smell hits. I see him retch and open a window. Thank all the fucking gods he did not throw up at that moment but oh my lord was I even more embarrassed now. We finally pull into a gas station and I'm pretty sure I'm having an anxiety attack at this point. I can't stop trembling and crying as I try to clean my seats with the wipes I have in the glove box. My boyfriend was absolutely amazing during all of this, telling me that it's okay and I don't need to worry and it's not even the 
that bad. I did manage to get half the pee in the bottle at least. Anyways, the lady at the gas station notices I'm freaking out once I realized the bathroom is locked and you have to pay a quarter to get in. She was super nice and gave me one and once I finished my business in the bathroom I bought multiple things because I felt so bad, I must have looked like a mess. Got my car professionally cleaned the next day and my boyfriend and I agreed to repress that memory for the rest of our lives. Also for reference, if we decided to take my boyfriend's car, his seats are fabric, not leather, so I'd probably force him to throw the whole car out. Too long didn't read, I was too stubborn to let my boyfriend pull over for me to use the bathroom so I used a bottle which resulted in catastrophe. I'm glad you can laugh at yourself and your boyfriend is right, shit happens, well thankfully not in this case. You two can now have an inside joke and refer to your car as a mini queefer. Oh god don't give him any ideas ha ha. Keep that boy, up. Also I'm very sorry, that's totally mortifying but. God is it funny. I have to marry him now. Just as a fair warning, as you begin to have thoughts of relieving yourself, your brain begins the process of autonomous muscle relaxation. It's basically detecting that you're preparing to relieve yourself, or considering it, and so it is relaxing the strangle grip it has on your bladder to keep it from leaking. That creates a greater sense of urgency. Which is why you hear so many stories about people barely making it to the toilet. Cause as they get closer to the toilet the brain is already throwing the breaker. That is actually really good to know because once I thought about it there was nothing I could do, I was doomed. Upvoted for use of catastrophe. Gotta get yourself a go girl for emergencies. She we. Today I fucked up by accidentally breaking up with my boyfriend. Obligatory, this didn't happen today but a couple days ago. For context, at the end of August I am moving 4 to 5 hours away for schooling. This weekend I went to my boyfriend's house to spend the night, as I usually do. At one point, he decides to listen to music, his vibe in playlist, so we turn off the lights, open the window and curtains and listen to his music. I've been thinking a lot about having to leave my hometown for university, and needless to say I'm not too enthusiastic. I've been thinking about having to do long distance relationship and for how long we'll have to do it, since my boyfriend is in college for the next couple years. But we're listening to his vibe in music. I start thinking too much about our future long distance relationship and how much I'll miss his hugs and kisses. How much I'll miss his voice and face and his dumb jokes. And even spending days like the one we had, which we won't really be able to do if I'm so far away. I definitely don't want to leave him, but I definitely can't stay in my hometown for the rest of my life. We were in a position so that he couldn't see my face. I think that this is perfect opportunity to get all my cries out without him knowing and later never mentioning it so he doesn't feel bad. So, I start crying and doing my best to cry as quietly as I can, which I think is pretty successful. Unfortunately, being the romantic he is, my boyfriend starts kissing my head and telling me he loves me, which is only making me cry more. After another, I love you, I can't hold it in anymore, and I flip over onto my stomach and cry into his shirt for a good 5 minutes. I apologize a bit for ruining the vibe in mood through tears and am able to calm myself down eventually. I'm a bit embarrassed and apologize again and just stay quiet. Well, he decides this is the best time to say he loves me, which only makes me start crying again. But, because I'm crying, he starts crying a bit as well. But that doesn't help at all cause when he cries, I cry, so we're just kind of stuck in an endless loop of crying. Thankfully, we break the loop and lay there in silence. He asks me what's wrong and, being the emotional bitch I am, I start bawling again. Through tears and his already wet shirt, I answer, I don't want to leave you. I don't want to go to uni and leave you. I knew he might start crying again, but he really started bawling. Like harder than I've ever seen before and I felt really bad. I didn't mean to make him cry so hard and I didn't think he'd feel so bad about me leaving. Apologized, trying my best to comfort him and hug him, but he kinda just pushes me away and moves away from me. This makes me feel even worse because I think that he doesn't want me to comfort him. He says, why? And I think, why what? I can't just not go? I ask, what? Because at this point, I'm really confused. We've talked about me leaving before, he knew it was happening. He responds, through his tears, what did I do? 
it takes me a second to realize what he's talking about and I instantly gasp and say, no, I'm not breaking up with you. Turns out, through crying and the shirt, I had mumbled my words and he thought I said, I'm leaving you. Don't want to be with you. He also explained that saying sorry was only reinforcing the breakup as well, which definitely wasn't my intention. We laughed about it afterward, though and aren't breaking up, thankfully. Too long didn't read, I learned how much my boyfriend loves me after he misheard me while I was crying and thought I was breaking up with him. Oh to be young and feel love's keen sting. Or your boyfriend sounds so sweet. Sounds like a sweet relationship. Sorry about your two seconds breakup smile. Thank you. I never thought I'd get back together with an ex, but I couldn't help myself. I still love him. This is so wholesome. Or that is so sad. My boyfriend and I had a bad cell phone connection and he said you're breaking up and I thought he said we're breaking up. I sat in shock for too long when I misheard that. Today I fucked up by showing my family my penis. I'm going to assume most of us guys know the penis tuck or some variation of it. But for those who don't know, it's when a guy has a random, or call for, erection, and he takes said erection and tucks it upwards to appear less visible. Here's some more on that. Well today, I'm hanging out with my mother and sister for breakfast. We're all joking around. I still have some excess morning wood that I tuck in. It's going away but still there. My mom makes a friendly jab at my weight saying I've put on some since the quarantine. I then raise my shirt to show her my flat stomach as a joke but then, the tip is exposed. My sister saw first. I didn't even notice till I saw her face. But by then it was too late. Mom had already caught a glimpse. Horrific scene. Incredibly awkward. I died on the inside. Funny part is that at that moment, the wood had finally died down. Guess it was the fear. Too long didn't read, I tucked my erect penis into the waistline of my pants and accidentally revealed it to my mother and sister. Oh lord this is another level of flashing. I just hope they didn't think it was intentional. Ha 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 unlucky my dude, I would say we've all been there but that's an absolute clusterfuck. Pro tip, tense the muscle in one thigh over and over again, the blood will flow there instead. Pro tip, he he. If it makes you feel better, I thought it was going to end much worse with your mom reaching to feel the pudge on your stomach. Son, your arms look broken. What are why Udong step bro? Should have shown your butthole so they'd forget all about it. No, no, he's got a point. 